Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger, guys. And if you're trying to find a fuse for the power steering, we'll explain that today. You may have up to three fuses. Now, uh, uh, that should work on year 2011 all the way up to currently, practically 2000 and, uh, 2022. We'll explain where the fuses are located. Uh, sometimes you may have one, sometimes you may have three. It really depends on which kind of power steering you have and actually uh, uh, which engine. So all that will be covered in this video today and we will explain why it's super important to test the fuses and we will explain how we can test fuses and relays as we go so let's start on it now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos if we have a dot charger we'll be making even more we'll be taking it completely apart we'll be taking that engine apart transmissions anything practically and we'll even uh, have the uh, 5.7 engine coming as well now why we do all that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts too fuses replacement parts relays for a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's start on it now so this is guys the dot charger that we'll demonstrate on uh, this is guys right here the fuse box that we have you can see uh, this is the main fuse box under the hood so what we have here you need to squish each one of those okay like that pull up and when you flip it you have the fuse numbers uh, listed on the back side uh, the first fuse that you need to check for the power steering guys will be a big fuse which is known as fuse number f3 or this is the second fuse from left to right on the very top row right here those fuses are super hard to see if they're burnt or not so we we'll recommend to always remove and test them it takes only a couple of seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test the fuse and relays and you will be able to know for sure if it's good or bad because let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you put it in and then you may spend quite a bit of time and money to fix the problem when all we had to do test the fuse now we have uh, we have one more fuse that we need to check guys uh, the next one and this one will be fuse number 19 f19 so this will be another fuse that we have okay right here that one is as well guys okay another fuse for the power steering so these two fuses both of them the second one from left to right first and second row so we have one more that is known for the power steering guys it's for engine controller and power steering but you need to always check that one as well and which one are we talking about okay we're talking about that fuse right here number 37 the third one from right to left on that row that fuse need to be checked as well uh, now if you still have problems with the power steering not working on that charger we'll have a video that will teach you uh, what can easily cause that hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you guys next time